Hey, you by your side. You shouldn't know your girl was gonna ride or die. It don't matter if Hey guys. That's it's cool, Truma Tai. Welcome to my channel. So this is me not really feeling this makeup because I did make some slight mistakes. Trust me guys, this tutorial is all over the place. Stay tuned so you can see how this makeup look came together. So this is me after I'm done masking. My skin is so beautiful. So we're going to start by doing our brows. Are you ready? Two, three, boom. Going in with the usual to prime my eyes of concealer. Guys, please note that every single product that I will be using will be down in the description box. So if you need to check, just check down there. I got you. So now I'm going into the Nubian 2 palette and using these two shades. The pink shade, I'm going to be using it as my um, transition color. And then darkening it up with that other color. I'm just blending the two together. So I'm now going in to deepen that color with a black from the Clean Color Palette, guys. This may be one of the cheapest eyeshadow palettes that I have, but it is so pigmented. I'm going back into the dark brown to blend out that black. Then you will see me go into the pink just to blend everything together. Guys, I do have a tutorial on how to do a cut crease because I myself am blessed with hooded eyes. So I will just leave that up in the link so you can click it on top of the screen. To create my cut crease look, I usually go in with this step just to outline my cut crease. Then I go in to just trace over where my cut crease is going to be. You will see me go in from time to time just to fix where I may have made a few mistakes. But guys, you just have to take your time. Just take your time. Trust me. That's cool on the beat. So now you'll see me going with my finger just to blend out the edges and then you'll see me going with that black and the brown to create that smooth gradient blend. For my lip color, I'm going into the Masquerade Mini and using these two shades. I am in love with this gold shade guys, it is beautiful.
I decided to try out these lashes from INV and they are so cute. I just find that they are perfect for my eye shape. So how could we forget our body fantasies like, ooh honey, get into it. <laughs> So I actually tried mixing these two shades today because my Fit Me Maybelline is actually running really low. I need to get another one. So today I actually went in with these two new concealers from Nika K in the shades number 8 and number 4. And guys, these concealers are a must have. I will tell you that they are a must have. I like my full coverage and very creamy. And that is exactly what this concealer gave me. I actually took my time to blend this out and it did not dry up on me. It blended out very smoothly as you can see. So here you see me go in with the lighter shade just to brighten up my under eyes and this is where I messed up guys. I thought I had the time so I actually went into cream contour with this elf concealer and let me tell you this dries down so fast. Mind you my battery was on low so this camera actually cut off a few minutes into um blending but guys i was just in a race to blend this concealer out because this was drying so fast on my face So in a few seconds, you'll see me blend out that Nikkei concealer, guys. And it was as creamy as I left it on my face. It didn't dry up. It blended out smoothly. But the only thing is that since my battery was about to die, I kindly actually rushed through the process. I didn't take time to actually see that it wasn't even blended properly. So you can actually see just a little towards the corner of my nose bridge. And I'm actually so flipped out about that, guys. Me going through the footage right now, um, I'm kind of over it, but I still wish I could just jump to the screen and still blend by my nose bridge just a little. And here I go, just, just setting that away, guys. When you set your makeup, you basically laminate it, yes? You can go in and, you know, twerk it a bit, but it's basically set wherever you place that liquid it's basically set so and i couldn't even see it i only saw it towards the end of the video guys so yeah it's not perfect you know i'm allowed to be vulnerable with you guys and make mistakes and if you are still tuned in up to now guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and give your girl a like i would so appreciate it I just love how this Milani face powder makes my skin look guys what do you think let me just say that if you are the same skin tone and shade as myself most of the products that I am using may definitely work for you as well this is how I actually found my shade in some of the um, the makeup that I use 
as well as going to the counter and trying them on. YouTube tutorials actually really did help me with finding my makeup. So this is where my battery died guys. I record with my phone. Um, I was actually trying to rush through to the end of the tutorial so I could get everything before it died again. You see me messing up my mascara. Then now you see me trying to rush my blush. I actually messed that up and went in with a little bit too much. But I kind of tried to neutralize it with some face powder. You're not supposed to rush when you're doing your makeup. You're not supposed to rush at anything. So this is the part where I started to feel much better about the look. Actually seeing the highlights touch my skin made me feel so much better. Like the hour that I just spent seated there did not go to waste at all. Here, I'm going in with one of my favorite lip pencils from Alive Cosmetics to line my lips. And yep, you guessed it, my phone died again. So in this shot, I was actually trying to show you guys my blunt cut synthetic wig. It's not really my style, but I find that it made the look come together. I will leave a link in the description as to where you guys can find this wig. So this is me not loving this look too much, but uh, I made it work. So guys, let me really know what you think about this look. Let me know if I'm just tripping guys or if this look can pass. Let me know what occasion you might wear this look for and why. I really do want to know your thoughts down in the comment section guys. I really do. And if you made it so far guys, don't forget to subscribe and give your girl a like. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you stay tuned to all my other upcoming videos. I so appreciate your love and support so far guys. Y'all don't even know. Thank you guys for watching. Mwah. See you in the next one.